Hello and welcome to another Electric World video featuring the latest news about EV World. This time, we will be discussing hot updates on Tesla Giga Berlin, Giga Nevada, and upcoming Cybertruck. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. It helps you get notified when we post more content just like this. Let's get started. Tesla has been granted permission to build a huge haul on the Gigafactory site in Grunheide near Berlin, presumably for the battery factory. Tesla is also reportedly considering an expansion for Giga Texas, which is currently under construction. First to Grunheide, aka Giga Berlin, according to Tag Spiegel, the new hall would have a floor area of 22,000 square meters, which is equal to three football stadiums. The foundation work for the hall can supposedly be seen in current drone footage of construction sites. The foundation work had previously been approved. The new approval applies to the entire hall. According to a spokesperson for the Odersbree district, it is officially a warehouse. We have no details on battery production, said the spokesperson, adding that conditions had been imposed on the construction work and subsequent operation. According to RBB, one of the conditions is that Tesla is not permitted to use the warehouse for car manufacturing. Tesla applied to the district separately for planning permission for the warehouse. If used in car manufacturing, it will also have to be part of the factory approval process which is the responsibility of the State Environment Ministry. As a result, according to the current approvals, car manufacturing components will not even be permitted to be stored in the hall. Despite this, or even because of the separation from the car plant, the Tag Spiegel speculates that the confirmed battery factory would most likely be located there. However, Tesla will have to first apply for a change of usage for the hull since various chemicals are used in the battery factory, among other things. Tesla has yet to announce what will take place in the hull. Tesla is now considering an extension of its Gigafactory in Texas dubbed Bobcat. What would be constructed there, however, is still unknown. Any journalists and bloggers in the United States speculates that it may be an abbreviation for battery cathode. Tesla could rely on spring power technologies for this. Another explanation is provided by the United States. A truck without a trailer is often referred to as a bobcat in local slang. So this may be the Tesla semi-production hall. According to records from the city of Austin, the industrial site would be about 60 hectares in area. Giga Texas, on the other hand, covers 113 hectares. As a result, the new plant would be considerably smaller than the car facility, but it would also have large dimensions. Another news is that the battery production at Tesla Giga Nevada turns first profits. Panasonic has released its financial results for the financial year 2021, which ended at the end of March. For the first time, Tesla's battery cell production at the Gigafactory 1 in Nevada was profitable throughout the financial year. Overall, the corona pandemic continued to have a significant impact on the financial year. Group-wide revenue decreased by 11% to 50.7 billion euros while operating profit decreased by 12% to 1.96 billion euros. The auto sector turned over 10.13 billion euros, 11%, in revenue, with an operating profit of 165 million euros, 32.7%. According to Panasonic, the rise in profit in the automotive sector is mostly due to increased demand for Tesla batteries. Panasonic expects a profit of 378 million euros for the automotive sector in the current financial year 2022, up from 165 million euros in fiscal 2021. According to CFO Hirokazu Yumeda, the car batteries, which are almost all Tesla account for about 
40% of the company's revenue. Panasonic has not given any further information about the Gigafactory 1, stating instead that it was successful for the first time on an annual basis. Until now, only individual quarterly earnings have been announced. Panasonic intends to add another production line for 2,170 cells in the factory in question in the current fiscal year 2022, increasing annual capacity to up to 39 GWH. The number was 35 GWH in 2021 with 13 production lines. As is well known, Tesla uses this cell format in the Model 3 and Model Y models manufactured in the United States. Panasonic also intends to increase its 18,650 cell capacity in Japan. The Model S and X, at least in some versions, will continue to use this cell format after the refresh. Panasonic is also expected to set up a prototype production line in Japan in the coming fiscal year to produce massive cylindrical battery cells in the 4680 format for Tesla. The next news is that Tesla Cybertruck is equipped with a camera under the front bumper. The most recent appearance of the Tesla Cybertruck showed that the electric pickup truck is equipped with a camera under the front bumper. Tesla's Cybertruck prototype hasn't had many public outings, but with each new one, we seem to discover a little bit more about the electric pickup truck. With the latest outing at Tesla's New York City store, people have seen another interesting camera on the Cybertruck prototype. D. Paul Sunny captured the camera hidden under Cybertruck's front bumper. The camera could be used for off-roading, which is popular in vehicles designed for the purpose. Tesla did not make off-roading a focus for the Cybertruck, but it will be ready. The automaker reported an approach angle of up to 35 degrees, a departure angle of up to 28 degrees, and ground clearance of up to 16 inches. A camera with the angle of vision may be helpful in certain rock crawling situations. It may even be used for other uses, such as parking assistance and even a 360-degree bird's-eye view. Tesla hopes to get the Cybertruck on the market by the end of the year, though CEO Elon Musk has hinted that it may be delayed until 2022. In addition, an updated version of the Tesla Cybertruck is expected to be unveiled in the coming months. It should look very similar to the existing designs with a few changes, including no door handles. That was all for today and the latest news we knew about Tesla. And thanks for watching the video. If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla's next projects and Elon Musk or electric vehicles, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. And don't forget to give a thumbs up on this video if you liked it and subscribe to our Electric World channel for daily content just like this.